Okay, let's warm up our fingers with um, Dozen a Day. It's a little exercises um, taken from a Dozen a Day. That's what the title of the series is by an author, Edna May Burnham. And this is the book once. Um, it's the green cover with, uh, and this is the group one from book one. And look at the first one. I love how you're able to um, kind of picture you physically doing these things um, in the sounds that you create on the keyboard. So this is just a simple C major pentascale, right? And the beauty of these exercises, you know, you can transpose them and do them in other majors or minor pentascales as well. So the first time she writes, play them legato, where every note's connected, and second time is staccato. Notice how the value of the notes, even though they're all the same notes, change throughout the exercise. So first you start with quarter notes, so make sure it's just nice and steady here, and then it turns into eighth notes, where it's one and two and three and four and and then it works up to one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, one. And so we, since we're, are, we are going to speed up, make sure that you start slower. So one, two, ready, go. Curve your fingers. Wrists are relaxed, but fingertips are firm. with the 16 notes that I my, I move more here rather than with my arm. But when you do the quarter notes, you can kind of move your arms to feel your arm weight. So the faster the motions is, the less movement, um, you know, you're gonna have for individual notes, right? You're gonna start to group them together. Okay, going on to our second exercise. Our second exercise is called skipping. Okay, so we are in the same position, but literally skipping, yeah? So here, one and two and three and four, now EG. I just realized I forgot to do the staccato for the walking and running, but we shall move on. All right, let's look at hopping. We have thirds, you know, so they're grouped together and they're all staccato. One, two, starts with, it's still in the same C position. One, two, ready, go. D, F, D, F, E, G, E, G, F. slowly like this you can move your arms up and down just make sure they're relaxing two try it again one two relax in between to see my wrist in the video I'm kind of doing this but keeping my fingertips nice and supported going on let's look at exercise four <gasps> look at how big that stick person's lung is <sighs> so uh, if we're breathing how do in the world do pianists breathe we breathe with our arms so we're gonna do arm circles and do it rather slowly for these there are two chords that are used for this we have C major C E G one three five left hand five three one and we have 
the G7 chord, which is going to be, I also like to call it the big friendly giant chord. Ha ha ha. I know, you're, if you are too adult for that, I'm sorry. So it's B, F, G. Then it's G7 for you. For kids, this is big friendly giant chord, okay? All right, and then we're going to do a circles with our arms for all these chords. And you can even add legato pedaling if you are more advanced. If not, just let it be. One, two, ready, go. One, two, one. And you know, you should do these exercises at least uh, three to five times each, not just one. Two, let's do it one more time. Arms go circle out in. Wrists are loose. One, two, three, four. Out, 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 out. One, two, three, four. All right, next one is called Deep Knee Bend. It reminds me too much of uh, squatting. Squats are hard. Um, I've been into kind of fitness lately. Squats are hard. All right. <laughs> Uh, so left arm is emulating the squat uh, or deep knee bend. So and it's still using C major and G7 chords. Except take a look; these are kind of low in the register. So maybe uh, I will just name them for you for this level. This is C. That's actually a low G. So that C C is down here, and that G is way down here. If you don't have those notes on your keyboard, then do them modify, obviously, an octave closer. So these are G's and then C's. All right. One, two, ready, go, C major. One, two. And that little marking on the bottom is pedal G. The knees are bending. One, we are double time. the stretching what are we stretching I think we're stretching our arms or we're going both ways because there's octaves so we start with C to C and the left hand C to C now watch out for fingering here it's one two three tuck your thumb underneath repeat the C on top one three two one did you miss that? I'm looking at measure three and four. The finger is going to be C, one, two, three, tuck, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, turn over. That's a standard C major fingering. Two, one, two, left and right hand, right crossover. stretching number seven that is number nine <laughs> number seven we have um, stretching right leg up oh you're kicking it quite hot so we start at fifth we're gonna go to six seven all the way to octave okay meanwhile the thumb has to hold so it's hold the thumb and fifth staccato be surprisingly harder to hold one note while staccatoing the other for beginners and for Mara that last C is tied so no need to play that guy I will cross it out let's do it again so these are all holding the C's are holding one two ready go one dab 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 drop wrist relax the wrist always check if you're relaxed or not and then reach up two three four one two three four now the left leg's gonna get stretched you can kind of guess what the exercise will entail we're gonna hold the thumb and then do fifth C. get ready we're gonna do it together one two three 
again. Go one, five, 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 one, stretch, one down, one, stretch the other one down, C, 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 C. Cartwheels, a fancy name for crossing arpeggios. We're gonna do C major and G7. Remember, we've been doing these two chords and we're gonna go left, right, left, right. One note by one note and then B, F, G, big, friendly giant, B, F, G, D. Oh, we haven't had that note yet. Let's mark it, we are D, okay? And then next, C major again. highest that's the highest but it's the second highest let's do the whole thing again one and a oh and i just wanted to bring up that these are triplets where instead of two eight notes now three of them is equal to one so we actually count one and a two and a three and a four okay one and a two and a ready go Three more. We have the next one is actually uh, splits. We are splitting. What's nice about going contrary motion with the scale is fingering is exactly the same. So we are sharing C right now, and then now we're gonna go one, two, three, both hands. One, two, three, four, five. Repeat the C and come right back. And we're gonna do it again. Fingering. Two, three, one. Staccato, one and two and three and four and repeat I'm holding my fingers towards me so that I don't have to go bouncing up and down too much bum, 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 bum. Two, C, two, C, two, three, four All right, standing on the head I cannot do that in real life um, This is a little more challenging because of the fingering the scale fingering will go right hand is one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and one. And the left hand is five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Okay. So what you know are we have opposing thumbs, so they're not exactly aligned. What threes are aligned though. So whenever right hand has three, left hand is also gonna have three. But notice how the thumbs are in different places. So you might have to do it extra slow at first. It goes together, three, right hand thumb, left hand thumb, now both three. One, two, one, two, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one. And then you have and four and you can subdivide the first two beats too if that helps you because so it's gonna be one and two and three and four and same thing two and three and four and one and then stay let me do it kind of fast once one two ready go standing on head Keep it nice and light and Okay, and 
And if you hear kind of the clicking of the nail sound, it's probably time to clip your nails. All right, last one. He's smiling because he's fit as a fiddle and ready to go. This is dozen a day. So this is um, the 12th one. Okay. This one is a uh, left hand is accompanimental, right hand has a melody and they exchange. So we'll do it slowly. One and two and ready, go. Those are the big friendly giant ones. And yeah, we finished celebrate by giving him some hair. All right. Enjoy doing these exercises to make them strong. Do them every day. See, it's called dozen a day, not dozen a week or a month. <laughs>